just a few weeks ahead of an annual trail race that the Hilltown Land Trust puts on at the Chesterfield Gorge, the Wild and Scenic Westfield River Committee hosted a day of tidying up the trails. Volunteers brought their tools and good spirits this past Veterans Day to tidy up the East Branch Trail. Connecting Point's Brian Sullivan headed out to the woods to bring us the story. The Westfield is one of those rivers in Massachusetts that seems to quietly go about its business while letting the bigger and more well-known waterways get the attention. As it twists and turns through the rural hill town of Chesterfield, residents here are just fine with that under-the-radar approach, anglers in particular. One drawback to being off the beaten path, though, is that the paths that do exist get beaten by nature, and their repair tends to move to the bottom of priority lists. The Wild and Scenic Westfield River Committee saw that opening and added it to their list. And for years, they've done what they call a tidying of the East Branch Trail at Chesterfield Gorge. And I call it a tidying because the trail just needs little um, touches here and there, clippings, and the larger issues are the bigger puddles or the larger things are taken on by the Chesterfield Highway. Fifteen volunteers turned up on this Veterans Day to tend to those touches and clippings. Some of them had been around this block a time or two, and others were doing it for the first time, like Brianna Lyons. She's an employment and training specialist with Viability Incorporated in Northampton, and today she was giving the kids a little job readiness training with some shovels and buckets. This is a trial run to help them get used to job readiness, right, so being on the job. Um, they might not dig holes for a job, but they certainly are going to um, follow instructions, right? They're going to need to have a little bit of perseverance um, and really know how to act on the job, right? A little bit about expectations and etiquette, so they're practicing all of that while out here volunteering. You know, I might have been dragged out here uh, once when I was little, but uh, I've actually known Meredith for a long time, and she's been a big part of my life in sort of uh, making me understand how much uh, I should value and how much I should try and give back to the uh, just sort of natural resources that we have. For me, this was my first time, and I wasn't about to pass up the chance to get back out into the woods where these rock formations are what remain of the quarry digging days of yesteryear, or to see and hear the sounds of a rushing river. If there's anybody wondering why I do so many stories from the wilderness, this view right here sums up that answer pretty easily for me. I think the folks from Wild and Scenic have a similar philosophy in getting their volunteers to come out for these events. I think the easy part is, once they're here, having the place talk for itself. So the hard part is getting the word out, letting people know that these opportunities exist. Um, we forget how fabulous volunteering feels. And it wasn't exactly volunteering for slackers. There was some actual work involved, especially in cleaning out the box culverts. But Babcock is no stranger to explaining the how of doing this work and using the tools, as well as the practical applications of the work that's being done. Well, we were sort of making the trail um, more resilient and uh, sort of keeping it from eroding because the erosion can affect the wildlife and the sort of uh, ecosystem of the river. So I think the more you pack it down, the more you fix any given pothole, the less it is likely to erode and sort of cause that damage. That leaves just one last question. After this experience, will these first-time volunteers make a return trip for this cause sometime in the future? We will definitely come out here and do this again. Um, it was very fun. Um, even in you know the colder weather, it's still really nice and the gorge is beautiful. Um, and today being Veterans Day, we thought that you know we would try and give back to some of the veterans. A lot of them come out here to fish and to hike, so it's a really cool opportunity for us to help serve them on a nice day. Definitely, I'd love to come back here. It's beautiful. Um, you develop a relationship and a sort of hopefully a stewardship for for the land and the area.